G'day guys, Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well, I'm finally got myself out of the house guys, I had to force myself out but feeling really good today so hopefully I can get motivated and get set up loading up uh, YouTube videos uh, Also fellas, for you guys who are into my scrap competition I will announce that vi uh, the prizes very soon, just give me time I've got to be in the mood. I'll give you a hint. I made between two thousand and two thousand five hundred dollars, so that's roughly what I made. And I'll announce the winners when I'm ready, fellas. So anyway, guys, what I'm doing today is just going for a drive. I was hoping to go for some nice uh, lake walks today, um, but where I was going to go, there's some um, activity over there. I don't want to disturb. flowers, trees and everything else and fauna means like animals, reptiles, marsupials and that kind of stuff so I'm nearly there fellas financially so when I can afford it I'm going to invest in a heap of really really good books on uh, flora and fauna of West Australia, um, mushrooms of West Australia and that kind of stuff so if anyone wants to help me with some tips on what type of books I should look into getting I'd love to hear from you. But anyway guys I just went for a walk then and picked up a few things so I found this one here, uh, I'm not an expert guys, I've just um, done a bit of research on the jam tree. So this is just some prunings I just took then, so does this look like a jam tree to you, or the branches? Mine sure looks very very familiar. And I think, oh and here's a possibly a different species, what could be a jam tree. But it could also be the same, but I've noticed those little seed pods there are actually bigger than those ones there, or those flower pods. But this one could be immature. So anyway guys, if any of you guys could just let me know. Um, well, it's two different species for sure. You can just see the tree branch colour, like this one, this one there, and this one here is more of a green colour and this is more of a dark green colour I think so I'd love to get some advice guys I'm trying to find I know there are definitely jam trees around my area I forget the actual species name I will put in the title um, so if anyone can help me out guys I'm thinking this one here looks more like the jam tree than this one and also guys I just went for a walk picked up a few little things some little mushrooms and um, puff balls so I'm no expert in mushrooms guys, so I've got about probably three or four different species here. So this is very unusual. I know these ones here are definitely not going to be edible. But I just thought I'd show you that. It's a beautiful top of puff ball. And this one here. I did find something else. Oh, look at this. This is the same thing I found before. So maybe someone can help me identify what this is. Maybe it's the top of bush tucker guys. You can just see all those seeds in there. I've never seen nothing like this. It's only when I just started looking then for stuff on the surface. I come across a little tiny one. And I thought that these were different species. But no, that's what they look like. So it must be some type of native fruit. A bit too scared to um, obviously try it out, taste it. But there you are, guys. So maybe someone help me identify what type of fruit or it's definitely not a toadstool. And here's a few other ones here. I'll just turn it upside down for you. There. And this little one here. Just there. And this is a beautiful set of um, five little tiny mushrooms all joined together. They're only really tiny fillies, that's probably how big they get. And I'll just turn it upside down and just see the colour. Hopefully the camera's working. And yeah, just found a bit of um, lichen on a tree. A lot of this lichen grows on trees around my area. So if anyone can help me identify these guys just to get me started, 
It's a huge learning curve for me. I am really, really familiar with my area, but I've never really learned most of the names of plants, flora and fauna, or especially flora species, mushrooms, wildflowers. I know the basics, but I'm no expert, guys. But I really, really would love to learn um, the exact names, identify all these different species. I could come across unknown species who knows that one could be an unknown species um, and just learn and document it for my area i come from a place called dumbuyung uh, in west australia about 250 kilometers southeast of perth all right guys really appreciate if you can help me out and be great to get some advice from you any experts out there thanks fellas see ya and here's another little mushroom growing just here guys it looks different than those other ones i just showed you i'm unsure it's probably the same type but it's just a lot older and just over here guys is those what i think are jam trees right here if they are jam trees fellas a lot of these jam trees were used back in the old days to make the um, fence posts for farm paddocks because the wood is really really termite and white ant resistant so the termites and white ants can't actually uh, eat into this wood and so here's a bit of an entrance I didn't do this right here guys so that's what it looks like on the inside. This is probably just from a storm what's come through. So it kind of looks a bit red on the inside. Just there. And this is a type of bark. Like I say, fellas, I'm no expert. I know I've probably seen thousands of these jam trees around my area, and I've always obviously looked at them with awe, but I've never really taken any notice of them. But now I really want to get to learn to know the species of my trees around my area, just know the basics. And here's the leaves. Some are straight, some are curved. Just here guys, a couple of other mushrooms, but they look like the top of ones you can eat. Fellas, so here's an unusual one, orange. And here's a couple of other ones in late stages of um, decaying. There you are, what is it? It's got a golden top on it, I don't know. You see it's kind of winter here, just started guys, all this beautiful moss is growing. This is beautiful. We'll have a look at this one, eh? We'll take just one. So, I'd love some help for uh, identification, guys, and same goes for this one. This is probably the same as the last one I found at the train. I mean, right now is completely different. And here's another one, guys, right next to these two. But it's a lot darker, might be the same species. Looks not, looks like a completely different species, fellas. So once again, I'd love some help if I identifying these guys so I can learn about all these mushrooms and flora and fauna around my area. I'll take a photo of it. Just here, guys, is an unusual type of possibly wildflower. I've never come across this one. I've come across heaps of new different flowers and species I've never seen before. When I get my new Samsung Galaxy phone, guys, I'll be able to take some really nice photos, real close-ups. I'm using my GoPro at the moment, so this one's pretty crap for taking good quality um, video and 
photographic footage. Here's another one, fellas. Same species as that one, possibly. So these little orange ones, guys, are everywhere. Not everywhere, but... A fair bit of way. What's under here? No creepy crawlies, no. A couple of cocoons. You can just see these ones here. There. 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 This here is probably some edible mushrooms, possibly. I wouldn't eat these ones. I'd only eat the ones with the black gills. These ones look a bit funny to me. They probably are edible, but I wouldn't take it home to eat. It's kind of got like a silvery type top on it. And these plants right here, fellas, these are beautiful orchids just starting to come out. So there's beautiful, all different species of orchids around my area during winter and they'll be starting to come out probably in the next, probably just after winter in the next few months. But these ones are just starting to come up. So we'll come up back up here one day and see what type of orchids they are. You can just see right here. That is beautiful. Just here guys, it's a bit of tree fungi. And right in there is another one of those orangey type mushrooms coming up.